we talk about the structure of the respiratory organ it starts from the the respiration mainly starts from the spiracles because the inhalation of the air and the exhalation of the air always starts from the uh, exhalation the air, uh, at the time of exhalation the air passes from the uh, spiracles and at the time of inhalation the air enters from the spiracles so the spiracles are the main uh, main uh, respiratory uh, a part of organ respiratory part of organ and the spiracles which directly leads into the ampulla ampulla is a swollen structure and the air which which uh, enters from the spiracle directly uh, uh, passes into the ampulla and after that it leads the ampulla leads into the tracheary tubes these are the tracheary tubes the air which enters into the tracheary tubes there is a chitinous structure present in the tracheary tubes which which uh, helps the tracheary tubes to uh, to uh, to just matlab uh, apna area broad karke rakh sake wo aapas mein chipke nahi theek hai they do not touch each other hai na the both membranes do not touch each other that's why a chitinous structure is present which is called as intima so the air which passes uh, which enters from the spiracle passes to the ampulla and that then ampulla leads into the tracheary tubes and tracheary tubes are all the tracheary tubes these all tracheary tubes joins into a tracheolar trunk these it is a tracheolar trunk which connects the all the tracheary tubes and then these tracheary tubes leads into a tracheoles the further branches which is called tracheoles these are the tracheoles and these tracheoles reaches to the cells and tissues of the uh, insect body so these are the tissues these are the cells and these tracheoles reaches into the uh, insect uh, these tracheoles reaches into the insect tissues and the cells now here the track at the junction of the tracheary tube and the tracheoles there is a cell there are cells present in a bunch form these are known as tracheolar cells these tracheolar cells secrete a fluid which is known as tracheolar fluid which also helps in the respiration now this is the structure of respiratory organ and now we will see how the process of respiration takes place in the insect body the process of respiration is divided into two main parts these are the first is the process of inhalation and exhalation this process of inhalation and exhalation is takes place when the insect is in moving state or it is in active active state because at that time all the spiracles get open and the air which is directly pass into the uh, spiracle and then that leads to the ampulla and then that that leads to the uh, uh, tra tracheary tubes and after that that air reaches to the cells and tissues so at the uh, the first process of uh, respiration which is inhalation and exhalation by uh, the respiration by inhalation and exhalation is takes place through uh, takes place at the time when the uh, insect is in moving state or it is in active state at this time the exhalation and inhalation takes place and at the time of exhalation which is also called as active active process because at the time of exhalation when insect exhales means it exhales the air which is present uh, in the body or tracheary tubes which has high amount of co2 so when it exhales the air exhales means at that time the volume of air decreases at the time of here i write exhalation because at this time uh, the exhalation and inhalation takes place in the active state and exhalation is the active active process at this time the volume of air decreases in the insect body and the pressure increases because it directly proportional to each other when uh, the uh, it exhales the uh, volume of air decreases and the pressure increases and and how this takes place why volume increases and why volume decreases the vo uh, volume of air decreases and the pressure increases because of turgosternal muscles which are present in the tracheary tubes 
देखो दीज टर्गोस्टर्नल मसल्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन दैकेरी ट्यूब्स दे गेट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एट द टाइम वेन दी टर्गोस्टर्नल मसल्स गेट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दीज द एयर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन दैकेरी ट्यूब्स इट एक्सेल्स आउट ओके एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ इनहेलेशन द सेकेंड प्रोसेस इज इनहेलेशन एट द टाइम ऑफ इनहेलेशन द टर्गोस्टर्नल मसल्स बिकॉज टर्गोस्टर्नल मसल्स आर द मेन इंपॉर्टेंट आर द इंपॉर्टेंट मसल्स विच हेल्प्स इन द एक्सलेशन एंड इनहेलेशन सो द टर्गोस्टर्नल मसल्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द्रैकेरी ट्यूब्स एट द टाइम ऑफ इनहेलेशन दीज टर्गोस्टर्नल मसल्स गेट एक्सपैंड दे रिलैक्स एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ रिलैक्सिंग दीज द एयर पास इन साइड द in uh, through these spiracles go goes to the uh, tissues and the cells because this is a passive process <coughs> this is a pa passive process and at this time the tergosternal muscles get relaxed and the volume increases the volume of air increases because if tergosternal muscles get relaxed the volume of air increases and the pressure decreases and so through this process when inhalation takes place the tergosternal muscles get relaxed and the air which passes to the ampulla from these spiracles leads to the tracheid tubes and then it reaches to the tissues and the cells and this air is rich in uh, oxygen because the amount of oxygen is more in this air because uh, how the amount of oxygen is more uh, Uh, in the external environment because here the uh, here the uh, vo uh, volume of co2 the amount of co2 is more in uh, which is uh, the co2 which is secreted by the tissues the amount of co2 is more in the tracheid tubes hai na and that time when the exhalation takes place this co2 is passed into the external environment and the air which is present in the external environment which contains oxygen is directly passes to the tissues and cells so one process is this and the next process in the next process when spiracles get closed because this is the active process when animal is moving or it is flying at that time all the spiracles get opened and the tergosternal muscles which uh, relax and uh, which relax at the time of inhalation and get contract at the time of exhalation it is the process when the uh, moving state insect is in moving state what happens when the insect is in uh, relaxing position or it is sitting at that time the spiracles get closed and the air which is uh, coming from the environment get totally uh, disclosed they uh, it can't be uh, can't uh, uh, reaches to the um, ampulla or tracheid tubes or cells so at that time these tracheular cells these tracheular cells they secrete a fluid which is known as tracheular fluid this tracheular fluid is filled everywhere in the tracheular trunk in the ampulla in the tracheoles everywhere this fluid is filled in everywhere in in this respiratory organ of insect so this fluid when it is flu when it is filled in everywhere the amount of co2 which is excreted by the cells which is uh, taken from here from the tissues or cells these tracheular these tracheular cells contains these uh, sorry these uh, tracheoles and tracheid tubes contains rich amount of co2 and by the process of diffusion which uh, by the process of diffusion the co2 which is uh, consumed from the tissues and cells will directly pass to the external environment and the oxygen which is present in the external environment comes by the process of diffusion and by the process of osmoregulation why because process of osmoregulation so in the second process when the spiracles get closed and the animal is in uh, moving uh, in uh, relaxing position so uh, at that time the tracheular cells secrete a fluid which is known as tracheular fluid this this tracheular fluid will will, will be filled in filled everywhere in the 
trachular, tube, trachular tubes and tracheas. At this time, the air which is present in the external environment contains more oxygen and this flows from the, uh, the at the process of osmoregulation, the uh, air flows from the, uh, the oxygen which is present in the higher concentration flows to the lower concentration and here the amount of oxygen is low. So, the air from the higher concentration flows to the lower concentration and it is collected in the ampulla by the process of diffusion and after that it leads into the tracheary tubes and then it reaches to the tissues and cells. And on the other hand the carbon dioxide which is present on the tissues present in the tissues will be filled in the tracheular trache, uh, tracheoles in the tracheoles and then with the fluid this carbon dioxide reaches to the ampulla and from the higher concentration is it flows to the lower concentration in the external environment. So, here the concentration of CO2 is more and it, re, it uh, flows to the external environment be, because in comparison to this the, uh, the uh, body of insect the uh, carbon dioxide is more here at this, pro, at this time and the uh, concentration of uh, CO2 is less in the environment. So, the CO2 passes from uh, passes from uh, insect body into the external environment. So, I conclude my topic that the respiration the process of respiration takes place in two, two, uh, two parts or we can uh, say in two forms at the uh, one is at the time of moving state or when it is in flying mode at that time the process of inhalation and exhalation takes place and on the other hand when it is in relaxing position the uh, tracheular cells uh, secrete a fluid which is known as tracheular fluid which is filled in the tra uh, in the tracheoles tracheary tube tracheular trunk everywhere in the respiratory organ and by the process of diffusion and osmoregulation this co2 which which is uh, passed outside and the uh, o oxygen which is present in the environment will be reaches to the uh, cells. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel gurukpo.com.